Welcome back to Nothing To Do Crew. I'm Nick, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to build this quick and easy shark tooth picture frame. Let's check it out. Seriously? So here are some shark teeth we collected along the beach, and I also grabbed some shells just in case I wanna use those as well. <laughs> so originally I was gonna build a picture frame, but I just so happened to find this one at Walmart for $2, and it's gonna work out perfect and save me a lot of time. Now, before we attach the shark tooth to the frame, uh, we're just gonna wipe it off, get rid of any dust. I didn't show this next step, but make sure your shark teeth are clean as well. That way you don't have any debris sticking to the frame. Okay, now, now these shark teeth were found in Sarasota Beach. And I'm not sure why they're black. I think that means because they're fossilized, um, but Anytime you go along the shore, you can always find a bunch there. This, this was just from one day's worth of looking. This one looks really cool. I might save this one. Let's see if I can put that in epoxy by itself. Okay, I think I like the look of that. So for this project, you could use this tacky glue because it does dry clear. Uh, but I think I'm going to use the epoxy because it'll make it a little bit more durable. And I've really been looking for an excuse to try this stuff. Now put these cups underneath because it's going to drip over and I want to make sure it catches those drips. And it says to mix these for about two to three minutes. So we'll get a timer going. You could also try experimenting with different dyes and stuff in here. I think a light blue would look kind of cool, but I think since it's our first time, we're just gonna go clear. Make sure you scrape the sides and get it all off the bottom. Now this epoxy has, I think a 20 minute working time. Uh, it's got a long working time, so it's not gonna cure up super fast. So we can kind of take our time and Work as we go. I'm not sure what the best way to put this on is. I think I should dip these in here first. Definitely making a mess here. I wanna make sure I get the edges too, so it's okay if it drips off a little bit. I think while we're at it, we're gonna see what happens if we put this, this guy in epoxy as well. Now, some, for some things, when you use epoxy, you have to glue down, uh, but these shark teeth, they don't float in the epoxy. So you should be good. Hopefully that thing's easy to get out of there. Okay, and that should work. Okay, now that I got all the epoxy poured, um, I'm just gonna hit it with the blowtorch real quick to pop any bubbles. Uh, it will drip off the side, so I can kind of brush that up a little bit. Hopefully I don't set anything on fire. Oh wow, that cleared up a lot. I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and then hit it one more time with the torch. Uh, just be careful you don't melt your cups because this one looks like it's going to start falling apart pretty soon and then the whole thing will come toppling down. So it's been about 10 minutes so I'm going to hit it with the torch one more time. So this has been curing for about 30 hours now and it feels like it's good to go. And from this being my first epoxy project I think it turned out awesome. It's really beginner friendly, really easy to do. And the only part I really messed up on is when I was trying to do this one. Uh, as you can tell, I tried to peel it from the plastic cup and as I was taking it up, uh, the backing came with it. I thought since it was wax coated, it'd be okay, but it's not. So I'll probably have to sand that off. I'll use some light sandpaper and see if I can clean it up a little bit. So here's the finished product. I put a picture inside of it and I'm really excited with how well it turned out. And since I used epoxy, it's gonna be really durable so I don't have to worry about any of the shark teeth or shells falling off of it. And as for this one, we'll chalk it up as a failure. It just 
didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to. Uh, it's pretty bad looking, but I definitely learned a few things while making this one. So next time we'll be able to fix those mistakes and make it even better. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.